is important for facing real-world situations. Reminding ourselves about what we've learned during our study at AUS is important, and it will surely guide us through whatever challenges that we may face ahead of us. Right here, right now, we are at the doorstep of a new life, our lives as independent young adults. Our eyes are wide with hope and curiosity, and our hearts are filled with excitement. But the disappointments and failures that lie in wait should not be ignored. Each one of us will be faced with many life-changing decisions, and it is crucial that we make the ones that best suit us. However, we may not be so lucky and get it right the first time, and that's okay. If there's one thing that AUS has taught us, it is to persevere. The challenges that we may face include finding a job, or pursuing graduate studies, or even finding our place in our community. Whether we succeed or not in taking on those challenges is not as important as carrying on if we do succeed and not giving up if we do fail. Dear graduates, I would like to emphasize that before you take my advice on how to face tomorrow's challenges, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to do better, to get better, to be better. This, in my belief, is the key to success. Self-improvement is the basis of being a productive member of society. Whether it is by being uh, actual uh, productive uh, employee. <laughs> and AUS has helped us realize the importance of challenging ourselves by challenging us throughout our study. And it is time that we take that message to heart. If you don't challenge yourself, you won't grow. And growth, whether intellectually or personally, is the greatest human accomplishment I could think of. My fellow graduates, not only should we strive for success by challenging ourselves, but we should take a look around and remember that we are part of a larger picture. It is up to us to carry on the legacy of AUS by becoming contributors to our society. Whether it is by entering the workforce, by pursuing graduate studies, or by using our knowledge to improve society. A wise man once said, every individual has to perform his duty. Man is mortal but his work is not. Therefore, work is greater than wealth. That wise man is our late founding father, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan. May God rest his soul. And a wise man he was. He was a true visionary who knew the value of work and productivity and who always gave back to his people. It is that kind of leadership that helped build our country and inspires us to follow suit. AUS has given us many opportunities to give back. Such opportunities include volunteer work, community services, and even taking trips abroad to help support war-stricken countries. When I first came to AUS, it was not easy for me to talk to other students. I would be too shy to ask questions in class, and I would secretly plead not to be asked by my professor any questions in class. Look at me here today, giving my class speech to a house full of educators proud parents and family, and aspiring graduates. I believe this is the best example I can give you of how much AUS has taught me. I've learned to be more confident, to not be afraid of asking questions, and most importantly, to challenge myself. I've also learned to seek the answers that I don't know, to plan, to think, to question, and above all, to learn. The diversity of the multidisciplinary courses that are required by each degree program here at AUS range from courses in the arts and literature to those in the applied science, all equally significant. This diversification of disciplines has helped us acquire a well-rounded education and to truly be versatile individuals in the workplace of tomorrow. As a result of our studies at AUS, we now have a wide range of skills under our belt. These include critical thinking, writing skills, analytical skills, and much more. With such knowledge and mindset, we are ready. We are ready to tackle the challenges that lie ahead. We are ready to apply what we've learned. And we are ready to build on the knowledge that we have accumulated during our years at AUS. Dear graduates, let us take a moment to thank those who have had a hand in helping us get here. Thank you to our parents, who have always supported us.
who have always supported us in every way. You are our pillar of strength that has held us through the highs and lows that we've faced at our time at AUS. Thank you to our professors for your commitment and for your patience in educating us. We are forever in your debt, and we hope to make you proud someday. And thank you to the AUS staff and administrators for all their hard work and effort in making AUS the reputable and well-organized well establishment that it is. Most of all, Most of all, thank you to His Highness, Sheikh Dr. Sultan Al-Qasimi, the President of AUS. Your Excellency, it is your vision and your strong belief in educating today's youth to build a better tomorrow that has truly helped us prosper both intellectually and personally at AUS. Thank you to you all. With this, I'm honored to say to our graduates, congratulations, class of 2013, we made it. The acting provost, Dr. Malcolm Richards, will recommend the candidates for degrees, Dr. Richards. Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Acting Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present the candidates for graduate degrees. Will the candidates for graduate degrees please rise? Mr. President, Mr. Acting Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty, I have the distinct pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the graduate degrees. Each of these candidates has completed the requirements for his or her graduate degree program. They have acquired knowledge and skills that will enhance their professional growth and development, and I take pride in presenting them to you for their degrees. By authority of the Board of Trustees and on the recommendation of the faculty, I confer on you the master's degree that you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> Ms. Salma Al-Assar will now call the names of those who have received their master's degrees. As your name is called, please come forward to receive your diploma from His Highness. Those who are not attending the ceremony will receive their degrees in absentia. Thank you. College of Architecture, Art and Design. Graduates with master's degree in urban planning. Muhammad Abdurrahman Al Amasi. Majid Amin Zarauni. <laughs> College of Arts and Sciences. Graduates with master's degrees in teaching English to speakers of other languages and English, Arabic, English translation and interpreting. Abdurrahman Tamfuri. <laughs> Abdullah Tamfuri. Zaina Hassan Yunus. Sadaf Khalil Ahmad. Manal Azil Arab Ahmad. School of Business and Management. Graduates with a master's degree in business administration and executive business administration. Rahim Rahimov. <laughs> Ahmad Muhammad Aid Makkawi. <laughs> Roy Majid Sinno. <laughs> Sultan Hisham Al Qadi.
مريم عبد الرحمن لوتا إبراهيم محمد المياحي طارق عبد الرحمن بو خاطر عادل نشأة حسيبة باسل حكمة الغسيني وليد فاروق الداود أمير بديع داود سليمان عبد الرحمن الهاجري عثمان إحسان صدف شبير عايدة خالد الخطيب نوران وليد الفضل سماح حسين حاج نوشين أصغار أباسي College of Engineering Graduates with Master's Degree in Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering Computer Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Engineering Systems Management, Mechanical Engineering, and Mechatronics Engineering. Taha Muhammad Dahabra. Baha Aounish Hade. وليد نواز سحر سمير تشوبر ألاء محمد أبو صلاح سهى جلال الدين أحمد هبه محمد 